Hi everyone, welcome to Tea With Me Tuesday. Oh, I made it a while ago and I started to film and oh, I just had to heat it up again because it was so cold. Oh, so it's been a crazy week. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Um, I did a haul for Michael's and I grabbed one of their grab bags. Uh, oh, you'll probably see it this week. Maybe I'll put it in the same day. I don't know. But anyway, um, these are all the tulips. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I never did mention how much they were. Oops. I lost something here. Oh, one of the tops came off. Anyway, um, I guess their regular price is $14.99 for those ones. Let me see if it's the same for the purple. Because the purple ones are a little... Yep, $14.99. $14.99. I have enough fake flowers in my house to open a funeral home. That's a sad thing to say. A terrible thing to say. Oh, I am going to sit for a minute. I have got loads and loads of laundry to do. Oh. You know, when I start crafting, everything else goes on the back burner. And, um, yeah, my vacuuming, my dusting, I wanted to clean out my fridge. I didn't get around to that. Got to do my my laundry oh my gosh it's terrible <sighs> i get crafting and i you know i'm on a roll i'm on i'm doing things and then i start doing something and then i get pulled away to do something else and then all of a sudden my craft area looks like a bomb hit it again i really really need to um, get a shelf in there to put stuff on. Now, I had purchased this. I won't be able... I'd have to get up to show you. Is it a Calyx? I put it together, and I put it in here because I had... Uh, I'd picked up the dark wood because pretty well everything in my apartment is dark wood except for my bedroom, my mom's room, and part of my craft area. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those decisions, uh, you know, I, I need a shelf. I need something. I would love to have a cabinet with doors so that I can put things in it and close the doors. But I don't want to buy any more furniture. I mean, although now that I said that, I went shopping um, two months ago, a month ago, for new living room furniture. Now, I have a long sofa and I want to get rid of it. Everywhere that I live, most of the time, wherever I live, a big sofa is just not, it's, it's okay to lay down, but I got a bed, so I don't need to lay down. And uh, so I want to get rid of the sofa. So we went to Lazy Boy. We went to a lot of furniture places, a lot. And I wanted to get mom a new chair. And a lot of, a lot of the chairs that were recliners were big arms, big and bulky. And Mom is used to this old one that has wooden arms. So I've been looking and looking and then finally there was a chair. I didn't like the pattern on it, but there was a chair. Just a regular chair. It, it doesn't it doesn't swivel or anything. It doesn't, you know, to put mom's feet up or anything. I mean, she doesn't do it that often. So 
anyway, so I saw it and then the girl said, well, you know, you can get different fabrics, you can, different patterns. So she brought me out the big swatches of um, patterns that can go on that chair. So I, I flipped through it. I found two that I, I fell in love with. And um, I ordered it. And it was extremely expensive. But if you think about it, I haven't bought any new furniture for over 15, 20 years. I mean, I bought a piece or two, you know, um, I bought a bench that I'm now using as a coffee table um, that I was using to put extra blankets and things in. And when the kids came over, I took the blankets out, put them in my closet and used it for toys and stuff for the kids if they wanted to do artwork or whatever well now that they're older and they don't come over it very uh, well because of covid obviously um so i've taken all the toys out of there put them away and i've now filled it up with throws uh blankets and and um things like that in there that i had but basically aside from this cabinet and the shelving unit with with the the containers in it for my my storage for my crafts i haven't oh and my pantry in the kitchen are the only things that i have bought in the past 10 15 years and i bought that in um the cabinet when we moved in here so it's been about five years um as a pantry because we had so much furniture, so much double of everything in the kitchen. And finally, I did purge a lot of it, a lot of it. And, you know, um, it's been a couple of years since I purged and got rid of. My son took some things that they were short lacking in. And, um, and I really didn't have any place to put canned goods and cereals and you know extra supplies and things like that in the cupboards so I bought that and it's been the best thing I ever did as a matter of fact I was thinking of painting it but paint talk about painting I still have to do my desk I have to do that desk it really I want to do it before the winter because at least when it's fall and the breeze and the air I can air it out so that it doesn't smell in the house because painting in the house is not great it's not you know i found that my my set that i painted in my room were smelly for a while so i gotta get going on that my daughter came over a couple of weeks ago with the kids to go swimming and i asked them to come up because i wanted to show them the painting that I did so I said to her okay should I go with the green or should I go with the pink and she said well pink because you've got two dressers that are are green and you've got the bookcase that's pink so you might as well have a second piece so now the third piece would of course be the fireplace and I think I may paint that pink because um, the green is great for the dressers but those other two pieces you know yeah so anyway <laughs> getting off topic I was thinking of the the um, pantry in the kitchen that maybe I should paint that that'll be a big project anyway I still got to go through more stuff in the kitchen um, I I went through spatulas and big you know the big you, you get a container and you put your spatulas and your big spoons and your sifter things and all that in you know and I found it was like a pain in the neck. And, and I was realizing that I only use three things out of the 10 items that were there. Grab those. They're in a box. They're down there. <laughs> a box that I have to bring to uh, the thrift store to get rid of, donate. I've got a lot of uh, kitchen things in there. I had two, um, I think they're called, what are they called? Colander sifters. You know, the, the mesh things that you rinse 
your noodles and stuff. I, I don't know what that's called. It might, it's gone out of my head. Anyway, I had two. Why two? I don't need two. So I started going through a little bit at a time and uh, realizing that there's a lot of stuff I gotta still, I still gotta purge, but I wanna get it all done before the winter so that I can just concentrate on my crafting, concentrate on the fun things. Um, and, you know, get my laundry done, get my housework done. It's terrible. Mom went to bed early tonight again. She went to bed at four tonight. It's early. She went to bed at four and, um, I had filmed the haul and I thought, well, I'll edit that and so on. And then I remembered, oh my gosh, tomorrow's Tuesday. I better get a, a video up. Oh, I'm looking at these beautiful flowers. I love, I love flowers in the house. I, I love them all over the place. I just, I just do. I just do. Anyway, so I got, the, you know, I'm thinking of all the things that I got to clean. And it's, it's amazing here in this particular house how dusty it gets. And especially in my room and I don't know whether it's because my window I talked about this before my window faces the, the the main road and buses and trucks and things go by and cars and stuff and maybe that brings in the dust but I don't know it's kind of weird how it gets so dusty but I need to vacuum and I I don't have a routine and maybe that's the problem Maybe if I had a routine, like Monday do the vacuuming and dusting, Tuesday tackle the kitchen stuff like things I want to get rid of, wash the cupboards, they need to be cleaned again. Um, it's been a while, I haven't gone up, my, my cupboards don't go to the ceiling in the kitchen, so it gets greasy on the top. I could do that. Maybe then, you know, I don't know. Uh, I'm not very good with routine. I was okay with routines when I lived alone, but I just find with mom, I, I'm, I never know what each day is going to bring and how, how she's going to be. And uh, she's going to be 91 next month the 20th of October and we're going to have a quiet one because mom is now having difficulty finding the words for a conversation. She might be able to talk to me about a couple of things but if if I don't hear her and I ask her to repeat what she said like if I say sorry mom what did you say? She cannot remember the words. She's gotten to the point where structured sentences are difficult for her and sometimes if she just blurts out like she'll mumble her words and kind of garble it a little bit and but she'll come up with one word and instantly I'll know what she was talking about it just I just need that one kind of clue word and that's okay mom and you know not to worry about it and things like that so I've noticed that her decline is is um frustrating for her because she's now having difficulty having a conversation. My grandson's birthday was on Sunday. Yesterday he was 12, the middle one, my daughter's middle son, and uh, he's such a good kid. Oh, they're all good kids. I'm so fortunate I've got good grandsons. None of them are mean, none of them are, you know, they're they're all good spirited and healthy and and kind-hearted and stuff like that. I mean, they're mischievous, of course, they're boys. But um, every time we go to my daughter's in the last, since we've been really able to go, um, my, my daughter's mother-in-law, Lorraine, um, when she's there, she loves to chat with mom. Mom is finding it difficult now to chat, to chat with her or to chat with anyone. She feels out of place now and doesn't like staying more than five minutes anywhere because 
she now realizes she has trouble with conversations. And I didn't realize it until yesterday when um, she kept insisting. I mean, we didn't even have cake. He opened his presents, hugs and kisses, got some pictures taken and everything. And uh, she wanted to leave. She wanted to go. Um, you know, whereas normally she would be sitting at the table having a wonderful conversation with, with my son-in-law, with his mother, all kinds of great stuff, you know, and now I think she's embarrassed. I think, and I, I really, I think I only noticed it maybe yet last night, maybe the last couple of days, I think. So I'm, I'm finding that she doesn't like to be around people for too long a time because she cannot carry a conversation like before. Whereas before she would sit down, even if it was about something that was nonsical, if it was um, talking about her golfing or talking about her knitting or talking about her whatever going on, her military life and things like that. But she always had a storyline or a conversation to do. And now she she doesn't. And I, I guess maybe just realizing it yesterday and today, especially there was a situation today where she got very frustrated because she couldn't carry on a conversation. So um, I'm realizing now that um, although I love to go visit my daughter and the boys now that we can and you know, um, I want to spend time with them. My first priority is my mom. And, you know, the boys are fine. They're at home. They're growing up. They're, you know, going to school now. And and I miss, uh, you know, I miss being with them. I miss hanging out and taking them places and things. But I can't with mom. And, uh, and it's kind of a sad step that I'm going through right now with mom is that that whole she's having trouble with conversation she has trouble following TV programs like she used to and um, so I have to kind of figure out which ones perk her interest more than others but that's life. That's what it is. That's the disease. There's, you know, um, there's nothing else we can do except, you know, guide them, hold them, you know, remind them that we love them, make sure she's well fed, and washed, and looked after, which reminds me I gotta cut her nails. Oh my gosh, I meant to do that today. We were out, and I noticed how long they were, and I said, oh, you know, to myself, I'll have to do her toenails as well, but those are the things we do when, uh, when we're looking after our loved ones, things we have to do. Anyway, so it's kind of a mishmash chat today. It's kind of a uh, little bit of this and a little bit of that, but this is my Tuesday. And that's my life. And that's all that I'm doing. It's just, you know, the best I can. I'm doing the best I can. And that's why I think I'm getting back into crafting. It's because I need that little outlet. Because of, um, you know, things that mom can't do. And, and when I show her things that I've done, she's so excited about it. Sometimes she can't find the right word to express and other times it's oh, it's beautiful. I love it or you know, that's so pretty and uh, I remember The other day I showed her something that I made and um, And then I put it back and then later on in the day I showed her again But I would show her a lot of different things and she saw the same things again and said oh, they're beautiful that's what I needed. I needed her. I needed her approval, I guess. But uh, anyway, that's all for today. I want to thank you for joining me. I don't know what I'm going to do with my flowers. I don't know. I got so much work to do. 
So I think I'm just going to relax. I'm not going to do any crafting tonight because I've got, um, I kind of scattered myself a little bit and I had started getting into Halloween stuff, finding Halloween stuff. And I don't like Halloween. I mean, even as a kid, I, you know, aside from getting candy when you're little, I really, I wasn't into it too much. I, I don't like spooky, scary, black and white stuff. I don't like that whole spooky. I don't like anything scary. I'm, I like things cartoonish, I guess. Maybe I could do a cartoon. No. I was thinking craft. <laughs> Maybe I could do. Anyway, I've got to get these flowers organized. I have got to get, I've got to get my fridge cleaned out. I got to get that washed. I got some garbage to bring downstairs. I've got some, mom keeps asking to bring down the garbage, um, but it's plastic and I want to put it in the recycle bin downstairs. I'm just, it's just to get out of the apartment, to bring things out of the apartment. Once I get out there, I'm okay. You know, the laundry, I got to get it downstairs. My donation box, I got to get it into the car. You know, the garbage, I got to get it down to the recycle bin. I just got to do it. And I remember one video I did, you know, talking about, uh, I'm sorry, I'm going on here. Um, when I was looking at some of my uh, flashback stuff that I was doing, I remember a video talking about getting motivated to organize or to declutter or whatever. One of my pieces of advice was, if you're sitting on the cat, I mean, you know, this is how dumb I was. If you're sitting on the couch with your cup of tea watching a show and you notice that you're, you know, there's some clutter on your bookcase, just get up and do it. Get rid of it. That way it's out of your way. Yeah, it's easier said than done. I'm sitting here looking at all this stuff. It would take me five minutes to grab it and go downstairs, but I don't even take my own. I don't even follow my own advice. All good intentions. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a good laugh with me. I hope I hope you can relate to some of the... Oh, I got a dust. I got a, you know. And I just want to watch an old movie. And you know what? I think I'm just going to go and watch an old movie. There's a couple of old movies. They're not old. But there's a couple of movies that I haven't been able to access um, anywhere. I don't want to buy them. I don't want a DVD because I got no DVD player. Um, but um, there were movies that I really, really liked. And uh, I found one, no, two. I found two. They weren't successful, I don't think. But anyway, one was called Frequency. I got that on, um, on um, my Amazon Prime videos. And the other one was Contact with... Um, Jodie Foster. I liked it. I liked it. Um, I liked her, you know, tenacity, I suppose. And uh, so those were two that I picked up. But I have a whole list of videos that I really, really... Oh, the other one, Driving Miss Daisy. I love that movie. Absolutely love it. And uh, I think I've watched it like a million times. Well, I couldn't... I didn't want to rent it for like four ninety nine, so I bought it for nine ninety nine. That way, I can watch it as many times as I want. Oh, crazy me! Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for uh, listening to me go on and on. Uh, Mom is doing well, you know. Aside from her her little frustration with with talking now. Um, she's, she's doing okay. You know, I, I keep her well fed. I take her out. She expects to go out every day. I don't know what we're going to do this winter. I'll have to think of something. I'll have to do laundry every day just to get her out of the apartment and go in the basement. <laughs> There's an idea. I'll save all my recycle. And our trip out of the apartment will be to go downstairs, throw out, and we'll throw one at a time. <laughs> In the middle of winter. Oh, 
Or maybe we'll just go out to the car, drive around the parking lot, come back. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for joining me, guys, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now.